Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're reviewing a brand new bourbon. A brand new bourbon to me, anyway. This video is probably a long time coming, but I've just never picked up a bottle of this before. I just never have until now. Today, we're tasting Maker's Mark Cask Strength. I wish I would have been recording when I tried to open this bottle initially, because guess what? America, not a cork, it's a screw top. And that took me a while to figure out. Before we get any further into this Maker's Mark cask strength, I want to tell you about today's video sponsor, a long time partner of the channel, IntoTheAM.com. IntoTheAM.com is like the go-to shop on the internet for the most comfortable clothing you can find. They have basic tees and graphic tees and joggers and shorts and underpants. And look at this, essential v-neck tee. Do I look super excellent in it? Of course not, but I look as good as I can possibly look. And that's saying something. This shirt is so soft, it feels like I'm not wearing anything. Before I leave the house, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, thank God, I am wearing a shirt, but not just any shirt, and into the AM Essentials V-neck. And I feel great. I might not be friggin' jacked, but this shirt makes me feel about as close as I could possibly get at this weight and body fat percentage. So if you want to support the people who support the channel while also wearing some of the most comfortable clothing on the planet, click on my link in the description below, use code ADHD10 at checkout and save yourself 10% off your next order. Now that I've flaunted how comfortable I am in this Into the AM Essentials V-neck, it's time to get back into this. Maker's Mark Cask Strength Bourbon Whiskey of Kentucky. They spell whiskey without an E because they just want to be different and difficult. It says handmade in little letters, so you know that it was made with hands. It's batch number 2107, 109.3 proof, 54.65 alcohol by volume. Star Hill Farm, Loretto, Kentucky, USA. It's got the iconic red wax, and then there's a picture of what I imagine is something really important, like maybe a building at the distillery or a house of some kind. It's a maker's mark, but a little over the top. That first taste says it all. Our cask strength bourbon is the boldest expression of maker's mark to date. Bottled at barrel proof, it's remarkably full flavored yet still smooth and refined thanks to the soft red winter wheat we have used since the beginning. At any distillery, a cask strength whiskey straight from the barrel is the truest reflection of who you are and what you do. Here at Maker's Mark, this is who we are and we're pretty darn happy about it. Rob Samuels, distilled, aged, and bottled by the Maker's Mark Distillery in Loretto, Kentucky, USA. This is like the world's most famous weeded bourbon. There is no age statement on the bottle, so we don't know how old it is, but we do know since it says Kentucky Straight Bourbon and there's no age statement on the bottle that's a minimum of four years old. Before I get into the nose and palate of this weeded bourbon bugger, it's probably pretty important for me to tell you that I'm not a ginormic fan of Maker's Mark. The Maker's Mark profile isn't exactly directly up my alley, and if you know anything about my alley, you'll know what it's about when it comes to my ass. It's not up there either. The most enjoyable Maker's Mark I've had to date is the Maker's 101. On some of them, I just kind of get like a weird sour dairy note, like a kefir, if you know what I mean. I feel like I wouldn't be doing Maker's Mark justice if I didn't at least score and review their Maker's Mark cask strength. So that's what we're doing today. That's what we're doing today. Going in for a nose, let's see how it goes. Mm. It smells like cherry yo plate yogurt. Yes. I know that there are a lot of Maker's Mark fans running around out there in the world. A lot of people absolutely adore Maker's Mark and that's totally fine. That's totally okay. I'm not sitting here in my spinny chair in this garage in front of that fake brick wall telling you that I'm right and you're wrong. What I am telling you is that if you want to be wrong and you consider yourself wrong, then that's probably very accurate because this is just not great. Although this does provide that sour kind of dairy-like note that I don't really love or even like on some Maker's products. It's a little bit tamed down here. It's not over the top. It's not going crazy. It's not making me pucker up and be like, ah. but it is there. There is some medicinal cherry here. Little medicinal cherry, little dairy. It kind of smells a bit young. I would imagine it's probably four or five years old. It can't be much older than that. 
There doesn't seem to be a ton of barrel influence on it. Not a ton of barrel influence, not a ton of oak, not a ton of age. Let's go in for the first taste of Maker's Mark cask strength. Palette is better than the nose. A little bit more barrel influence on the palate. A little bit of barrel spice, actually. When I pictured in my head what this bugger was gonna taste like, I didn't anticipate that this bugger would be spicy, but this bugger surprised me with a little bit of spice on the back of the palate. First sip, and don't hate it. Going back to the nose, and I realized that I don't wanna nose it anymore because it tastes better than it smells, and every time I smell it, it reminds me that I'm probably not gonna like what it tastes like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just forget that I even smelled it. It's pretty hard to do though. It's pretty hard to do. Second sip. It is rather light and fluffy on the palate, with a bit of a zing down the middle. It's almost like a cotton candy fluffiness. A little light on the palate, a bit spicy down the middle. At a drag strip, the rear wheel drive cars kind of like warm up their tires and they're like, like the smoke is like billowing out because they want to warm their tires up for traction. Then it's like, bing, 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 bing. And then like, and they take off and then it just like leaves a kind of like a trail of rubber. Like for the first like 60 feet or so. I feel like the middle of my tongue is kind of like the first 60 feet of that dragway, of that drag strip. If that drag strip were made out of oak, if those tires were made out of cherries. Third sip. I would have to go back to the Makers 101 to see if I enjoy this more than that, but I think I do. I think that this is kind of like pretty good. I think this is kind of good. I'll just have to remind myself when I go back to this not to smell it, just to taste it, because this, this is not a smelling bourbon. This is just a tasting bourbon. For 50 bucks, for 50 bucks or so, I think that if you enjoy a weeded bourbon, especially if you enjoy the Maker's Mark brand, this is gonna be a definite buy. It took me several years to buy a bottle of this, but now that I have one, I'm not disappointed. I'm actually kind of pointed. You know what I mean? Maker's Mark cask strength receives a score from me tonight of 7.2. 7.2. Maker's Mark cask strength, specifically batch 21-07. That's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up for this review. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed and you don't hit the subscribe button, then shame on you. You filthy son of a bitch. And I mean that with all of my heart. And doctor says it's borderline enlarged, so I really need it. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below. What's your favorite Maker's Mark expression? Is it this one or something else? My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on not watching scary movies with your wife when she's staying in a log cabin alone. Because once you leave and she's still in that log cabin, and she still has scary movies fresh in her head, guess what happens? Phone calls and text messages and fear and anxiety and just not a position you need to be in. Just not a position you need to put yourself in or put her in for that matter. But guess what? I didn't even do it. I didn't even do it. I wanted to watch America's Funniest Home Videos. She wanted to watch Killer Cabin in the Woods. So her fault, not mine. Definitely not my fault. But speaking of not my fault, I probably should end this video and call her back before she gets attacked by the raccoon that's eating her garbage out front on the porch because it set off the motion detector light. And if you know anything about motion lights, they only turn on when there's a burglar, a trespasser, or a chainsaw murderer. And if she gets attacked brutally with a chainsaw, I think that this video will probably be not a great video to look back on. So, God protect her. Just protect her good. I love you all, and her. I especially love her. Have a great night, everybody, and we will talk soon.